Hi, my name is Venus O'Hara and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my orgasmic lifestyle and in particular five things that I do every day to lead an orgasmic lifestyle. When I mean orgasmic lifestyle, I mean kind of figuratively speaking. I'm not really talking about orgasms as such because I used to think that my life was orgasmic because of all the orgasm orgasms that I enjoyed and the fact that I define my, my work as an orgasm activist. So everything's about orgasms. However, I am experiencing climaxes in many other areas of my life. So for example, I'm very passionate about leading a healthy lifestyle and yeah, just being authentic, minimalist, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, today I wanted to share five daily habits with you that I, that I, some things I do every day that make my life orgasmic in my experience. Okay, so the first thing I do, I wake up in the morning naturally, no alarm. That has got to be the best thing ever. And the idea of actually creating this orgasmic lifestyle came, um, came about because I had an interview with Cosmopolitan in Brazil and I was talking about my life, about getting free sex toys and all the great things that I enjoy as an influencer following my own passion. But the one thing that really stuck out to the um, journalist who was interviewing me was the fact that I had no alarm in the morning. She was so jealous and she talked to me about the uh, traffic jams she had to endure every day, etc. And I was thinking, oh, wow. And for me, um, it's been now 11 years since I created my blog, venusohara.org. And that's also 11 years since I, that I've been working for myself and 11 years that I've been waking up naturally and it's the best thing ever. And I deliberately chose a lifestyle that would enable me to wake up naturally because I've never really been a good sleeper. I'm quite a light sleeper. And also if I'm worrying about the day, the day ahead, then I tend to just be thinking too much and uh, that prevents me from sleeping. Whereas if I wake up naturally, I find that I actually sleep less hours, but it's a more refreshed sleep. And also, before um, following my dreams, I used to have a normal life, waking up in the morning with an alarm, I had an orgasm as well though, orgasm alarm, but a rushed orgasm. I used to have a rushed breakfast and then, then get on uh, public transport to get to work for a certain time. And uh, all that rushing about in the morning was just so not orgasmic, which takes me to my next point. So. I have a very leisurely morning um, routine and I'm actually going to make another video about my morning routine because it really is orgasmic. So what I do after waking up naturally, first thing is meditation, I'm going to talk about meditation later on, is that I have a orgasmic breakfast. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I share some orgasmic breakfast from time to time. In fact, I share pictures of vegan breakfasts and they have a very colorful, very colorful pictures. And I also put a sex toy there. And why do I do this? Because I find that sometimes veganism is something I'm very passionate about, but a lot of people can feel offended by it or feel that because I'm vegan, I'm criticizing someone, someone's non-vegan lifestyle. And that's really not my objective at all. And also sex toys is another topic that tends to be quite taboo or makes people uncomfortable. So on one hand, you've got veganism, which makes people uncomfortable. On the other hand, sex toys, which is taboo and makes also makes people uncomfortable. So I wanted to bring them together in a very fun and colorful and healthy way. So that's what I do with my orgasmic breakfasts. And of course, I take a picture just for the picture. But even when I'm not, I don't have the sex toy out there to take the picture of it. I always have breakfast like this. So it's always um, a yogurt, some fruit, some seeds, and also some crackers and um, more savory, savory things like sun-dried tomatoes or vegan cashew cheese or um, olive tapenade, green or black olives, um, hummus, hummus is just amazing, sprouts. And also I, I have freshly squeezed juice and then a herbal tea. And I also, I take my time to enjoy my orgasmic breakfast on my balcony in the sun. I also I always have my, my back to the sun though and I wear a white robe so that there's, I'm not gonna get burnt. But I really enjoy these, these moments of birds singing and just enjoying my breakfast. And they're leisurely, very leisurely breakfast. And I'm not looking at the time at all. All the emails can wait. 
And that takes me to my next point, point number three, which is reading. So after my breakfast, and I'm sipping my tea, I read a book. And this is something that I've really started to do during lockdown, actually. I wasn't really a big reader for many, many years because I've been concentrating on my own written work. And for some reason, I just felt that um, reading books was somehow going to contaminate my own work. However, last year I read Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and it's completely, it was completely life-changing for me and I thought how many other books out there could be potentially life-changing. So I've been reading lots and lots and lots of books and I've been sharing here um, some videos about the books I'm reading and if you have any suggestions then please let me know. I'm interested in books on uh, personal development, personal finance, spirituality, and sexuality, but sacred sexuality, Taoist approaches to sexuality and tantric ones as well. Yeah, because I feel that even though I've been a sex or um, an orgasm activist now for 11 years, now that I'm becoming more interested in spiritual or sec sacred sexuality, I feel that like only, I've only just begun to understand the significance and the importance and the power and potential of sexuality. It's so exciting. <laughs> And this book I've just started today actually, I only started it about an hour ago and I'm absolutely blown away which definitely fits in with the topic. I'm started to, I started to read this book which is called Living an Orgasmic Life which is very different from the orgasmic lifestyle that I'm talking about because this is, this is focusing purely on sexuality and orgasms and with a tantric approach and it's very interesting. I didn't really think that I was the target for this type of book because I already feel I already feel quite in touch with my sexuality, but there are always things to learn. However, when I learned about the the story of the author, I don't know how to pronounce her name properly, I think it's Shane Paylet. It was amazing. I think I don't know how old she is now, but I think she's in her 50s and she didn't really um she didn't really experience her sexual awakening until she was in her 50s and she had a sexless marriage for I think 20 years or 25 years. So that's that's really incredible to think of as she said here in, I think it was chapter two that I've just read now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What if I told you no matter your age, the best sex of your life is ahead of you. Isn't that incredible? I find that really inspiring, not just from a, sexual perspective thinking oh imagine if my best orgasms are still I've still not even had them but also from a career perspective imagine not finding out your speciality in life until later in life I think it's really exciting very inspiring so I've just started this book and um I can see that I'm just gonna I'm gonna devour it very quickly and I've also got a whole list of books I've got about three or, or no actually I've got seven books in my in a pile that I'm going to be reading very soon because I kind of I'm kind of addicted now to to book purchasing. So if you have any additional books that I can read, I'm reading one book every every week or something at the moment. So please um, share any any suggestions. Especially I'm especially interested in books that you consider to be life changing. Okay, so reading. Hmm. So then then um, this takes me. I actually wake up quite early, but. This process of having no alarm, meditating, and I'll talk about that later, the orgasmic breakfast in a leisurely fashion, and then reading um, while I'm sipping my tea. I might read for about an hour. Then it can be about 11 o'clock when I actually start doing any work. So people that work with me might think I've just gotten up late or that I'm lazy or something, but that's not, not the truth at all. And then I do my working day, blah, blah, blah. And then when it gets to the evening, I have my second meditation um, session. So in the evening, I it's not well. I, I meditate, but I also have a a herbal tea, a relaxing one, and I I listen to some binaural beats or some meditation music that's got the, some kind of visuals that can make me float a little bit. Then I go to bed and I do some guided meditations that are on Insight Timer. And I actually, I do lots of different types of meditation, but what I really love when I'm kind of tired are med affirmations. I love, I love just putting affirmations on and most of the time I don't even register them because I'm just well, <laughs> very tired or I kind of fall asleep while, while they're playing. I think that's a great thing to do because they are, I feel as though they are 
being absorbed by my subconscious mind. So yeah, that's what I do in the evening. So I really love this app called Insight Timer. There are many different types of, um, of a meditation, but I'm going to start doing some more kind of freestyle meditation soon. <laughs> Just um, setting the timer and uh, letting my mind wander and let my intuition guide me. So I tend to listen to affirmations and sometimes they can be related to self-love, abundance or gratitude. I like that one. But other times I like to I like to do meditations or guided meditations that are um, based on intuition. I find those to be very insightful because I think um, you always get incredible downloads from the divine during those meditations. And then, oh, well, actually, I'm not in order. God, my list is not in order. But before I go to bed, when I'm doing my kind of um, herbal tea, then I keep a gratitude journal. And I've been doing this since the beginning of 2019. And this is the proof to me that um, what they called New Year's resolutions can last. I started doing this at in the beginning of 2019 and uh, at first I was uh, noting down three things that I was grateful for and then three things that I had achieved that day because sometimes at the end of the day you think, oh no, I didn't do that, I didn't do that, rather than focusing on the things that you did do and it's not exactly the same as gratitude. For example, paying a bill or doing something that's been on your to-do list for a very long time, going shopping, um, inspiring others, and then gratitude can be different things. Um, I, and I find that this has helped me so much, and it's really helped me to, And but this year what I've ad added as I'm doing the gratitude, the achievements, and I've also added three things of self-love that I did that day. So yeah, for example, yesterday I bought some maca powder, wow! And I bought some organic treats and I read. That's definitely an act of self-love. And then other days, meditation, walked, read, da -da 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 -da. make other people happy. That's, that's an achievement. Yeah, and also self-love organizing my space because I'm quite messy. Et amazing food. Mmm, yeah. So yeah, these are definitely orgasmic habits to adopt and I highly recommend them. So what about you? What orgasmic daily habits do you have? I would love to hear and maybe I will incorporate them into my life as well. You never know. If you have any suggestions for other videos, then please don't hesitate to contact me at venus at venusohara.org or you can add me on Instagram at venusohara. Thanks for watching.